The Law Society of Kenya elections come after months of crumbling and outright infighting within a body that was once one of the most respected in Kenya. Let's now take a look at members' views of the estate of LSK today. That the Law Society of Kenya was an organization revered by many in the past is not in doubt. The long history of the society that dates as far back as 1948 and one that has seen several faces blossom into well-known and articulate leaders has however seen better days. The society over the last few years has been accused of engaging more in politics than interpretation and defense of the law and justice. And some members of the society have been pointing the finger of blame at the direction of outgoing president of the LSK, Eric Mutua, who made history in 2014 by becoming the first and only elected chair to retain his seat at the helm of the society. That without fear or favor, I will, I will well and truly discharge my duties. Mutua's arch nemesis Edwin Sifuna, who has in the past on several occasions engaged in a war of words with Mutua, blames the society's woes on a weak leadership. I actually voted for Mutua. I voted for Mutua twice. Yeah? So it is uh, not that I have any personal problem with him, but uh, with the benefit of uh, hindsight, we feel, I personally feel that it was uh, one of the greatest mistakes to elect him because uh, he has shown his true colors in the last few uh, months of his presidency. The society's wrangles have played out openly, culminating in a fiery confrontation during last year's annual general meeting by the LSK that saw Mutua adjourn the meeting prematurely. At the time, matters concerning a 1 billion shilling arbitration center triggered the outburst with members accusing the executive council of inflating the budget needed to build the center. The arbitration center was the biggest symptom of the problem. It was just a symptom and it exposed the weaknesses that were there in council and their leadership, and the leadership of Eric Mutua to be precise. First of all, there was supposed to be uh, an, an SGM in September of 2014 that uh, resolved that we build this uh, arbitration center. Members went into that SGM without any documents on that project. If we are going to build a chicken coop, for instance, where I come from, you have to show me a budget for the uh, project. Yeah? Before I say, okay, let's build it, you will show me a bill of quantities. This is uh, the number of iron sheets we are going to use. This is uh, the kilograms of uh, nails we are going to need. You can imagine that members went into that SGM without any of those documents. But Mutua has been quick to defend his four-year legacy at the body representing lawyers' interests, insisting that individual interests by some members of the LSK has sabotaged some of his progressive policies at the society. But some members will hear none of that, insisting that LSK has been modeled into a toothless dog that has currently no say in the country's legal and political agenda. As far as I'm concerned, when the Law Society of Kenya was called upon, to uh, speak, it did speak as against the executive, it did speak as against the judiciary, and it did speak against parliament. The society's former heads have also had to struggle to keep the society at par with matters progress, with mentionable names like renowned advocate Ahmed Nasir Abdullahi having been known for taking then Attorney General Amos Wako to court for allegedly violating the constitution. Some say that members like renowned lawyer Paul Mwite, Defense Cabinet Secretary Rachel Omamo, and Chief Justice Willie Mutunga, who have at one time or another led the society as LSK chair, owe a lot for their careers now to the rich history and the pivotal role the LSK has played in the past. And whether that rich history gets to extend to the future, analysts argue, depend largely on whether the society is ready to metamorphosize itself to adapt to the ever-changing, ever-surprising atmosphere that is Kenya's legal and political stage. Timothy Otieno, KTN News. <laughs>